We will now see the part 3 of class full addressing. What we are going to learn in today's lecture. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to identify whether the nodes belonging to same network or different network with examples. We are going to take some examples and we are going to understand whether the IP addresses belong to same network or different network with the help of subnet mask. We know basically there are five classes of IPv4 address, class A, B, C, D and E. And we also know class D is for multicast purpose and class E for experimental purpose. And we are going to focus only on class A, B and C. And the default subnet mask for class A is 255.0.0.0 and class B is 255.255.0.0 and class C is 255.255.255.0. And this subnet mask says who are all our neighbors in the network. The IP address basically contains two information. One is the network portion and the other one is the host portion. Which is the network portion and which is the host portion cannot be determined with the help of just IP address. We need a companion which is the subnet mask. By default every class is having its own subnet mask. So class A, B, C has its own subnet mask. Let's revisit what is the role of subnet mask formally. To define the network and host portions of an IP address, a device uses a separate 32-bit pattern which we call as the subnet mask. This subnet mask by itself, it is not having any information about the network or the host. But once if it is accompanied with the IP address, it can say which is the host portion and which is the network portion in the IP address. So the subnet mask does not actually contain the network or host portion of an IPv4 address. It just says where to look for these portions in the given IP address. Suppose if we have a subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0, it means the first three octets are the network portion and the last octet is the host portion. So this subnet mask is very very essential for finding out who are all there in our network. Let's see some examples. Let's assume a device which is having an IP address 10.10.10.1 and another device is having an IP address 10.10.20.16. Can these two devices communicate with each other with the help of a switch? In other words, are these two devices belonging to the same network? We can't predict this without subnet mask. Suppose if the subnet mask is a class A subnet mask 255.0.0.0. Now, are they belonging to the same network? Yes, they belong to the same network. Why? Because it checks only the first octet. When the first octet is matching, it doesn't care about the remaining three octets. So any IP that starts with 10 belong to the same network. So switch is enough to make communication among themselves. Let's move on to another example. So now the IP address is 10.10.10.1. Let's assume a device is having this IP and another device is having this IP 10.10.20.16. And we are given with the class C subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Now you may ask me a question. Can we use class C subnet mask for class A IP addresses? Yes, we can use but not class A subnet mask for class C IP addresses. Please remember for class A or class B or class C IP address, we can use class C subnet mask. But for class C, we can't use class A or class B subnet mask. Similarly, for class B IP address, we can't use class A subnet mask. Now we will focus on this question. We know the subnet mask is given and this subnet mask says three octets should match. What are the three octets it should match? 10.10.10 .10 should match. Here is it 10.10.10? .10 .10? No, it is 10.10.20. .10 so these two devices cannot communicate with the help of a switch because they are not belonging to the same network. We need a router to make communication possible among these two devices. Let's take the next example. 172.16.200.1, 172.16.165.2. Can these two devices communicate with each other? With this subnet mask? Yes, because the first two octets, it's a class B subnet mask. So class B means the first two octets should match. Since both the IP addresses are starting with 172.16, communication is possible with the help of a switch. They do belong to the same network. What about this? 172.16.200.1? and 172.16.165.2. If it is class B subnet mask, communication is possible with the help of a switch because they are belonging to the same network. If it is class C subnet mask, so three octets should match. So the third octet is not matching here. 
So obviously they are belonging to different network. So switch cannot make communication among these two devices. Let's take this example 10.10.36.1 and 10.10.12.1. With class B subnet mask, that is the first two octets should match. They do belong to the same network. If we use class C subnet mask, the communication cannot be possible with the help of a switch because they do belong to different network. So in this case, it is 255.255.255.0. And that's it guys. I hope this example is very clear for you to understand the purpose of subnet mask. This subnet mask defines which is the host portion and which is the network portion. With the help of subnet mask, we can know whether the device is belonging to the same network or different network. Let's see the homework question now. The question is, which of the following is an invalid subnet mask? So in a classful world, we have only three kinds of subnet masks. Just recollect what are the three valid subnet masks. Identify which is the invalid subnet mask and post your answers in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.